All right, welcome to Forza 7. We're just gonna do, uh, I guess, a career mode. See how it goes. I guess that's the driver's cup. And uh, see how it goes. Um, before we start, we're gonna start check out the cars. They cycle every few days, or I guess every few weeks. This game released uh, the 29th of September. And our goal is to get this bad boy. We have eight days to do it. It's 400. Fifty thousand dollars or credits. We only have 102. Um, I didn't even start the game yet, but I have quite a few cool cars because I'm a VIP member. So got a wide body M4 BMW. It's pretty. Got a nice Camaro with a blower on it. Cosworth Escort, a wide body GTR. A Ram Runner. That's it. Pretty cool cars. I'm not gonna be using them right away because I'm assuming when you start the game you're gonna start with shittier cars, but I guess we'll find out. And how I got that was through this new thing that Forza released. If I could find it. There's like a crate system, like every game that exists, so. Yeah, I don't even know where to find it. Oh, prize crates, here you go. So yeah, you do, uh, I guess you get crates. Or you have to buy them, I suppose, with in-game money. And uh, like this one I can afford, so if I click on it, it'll ask if I want to buy it. And inside you can get mixed things. Um, the gold ones you can usually get cars with, but I know you can get like driver mods because you can also make your driver look Here's different, which uh, cool. What you wear when you hit the track. You'll unlock more driver gear as rewards or from prize crates. All right, so a little bit about myself. I. Uh, Played the living snot out of most of the Forza games. Uh, Forza 4 was probably my favorite game. Forza 5, don't want to talk about. Forza 6 was okay. Didn't mind it. Um, Forza 7, here it is. Looks great, but, um, you know, I'm judging a book by its cover. I'll hold my opinions back for now. But I don't think the driver gear thing is that great. I'm just, I'm just worried that they take things away that they shouldn't and replace them with things. I like it when they add things, but usually Forza replaces things, which I don't like. And I'll show you what I mean in a hot minute, because my biggest gripe with this game so far is the car selection. There's a lot of cool cars, but there's some cars that are just not here that should be. For example, Toyota. I guess there was like a licensing issue with Toyota because there's no Supras. There's no like, there's nothing. There's a race truck. There's a this, which I'll never know why you'll use. And there's NASCARs, who cares? Um, in my opinion, sorry. Um, okay, so then we'll go to Subarus. They took away the Hawkeye, and all we have is the Blobeye and the 22B, which is fine, but the Hawkeye was cool. And um, the Bug Eye never gets any love. And for Chevy, it's no different. They, um, they don't even have the Z28. They have the ZL1, but they don't have the 1LE. The ZL1, ZL1 1LE. They just have the regular ZL1. And again, no Z28. Just a ZL1. Why? <sighs> it's just weird to me, man. But, um, again, just judging a book by its cover. Uh, it's missing a few cars that I really wish I had. Uh, mainly the Supra. Like, why <laughs> is the Supra not in here? Or is it you really should have just struck a deal? They got a lot of cool cars, though, from Fast and Furious, which, uh, apparently are free if you get the game. Like I did, which is pre order VIP. I don't know how you have to get it, but, um, I was given all these cars. And, uh, boy, the Xbox is trying to load right now. But, um, a lot of cool cars. Honestly. Uh, the problem I'm having, though, is that they're just giving them to you. And they're, like, a lot of high-tier cars. Um, so I don't know if I should use those. I feel like if I use those, it'll be kind of cheap. I kind of like somewhat of a challenge. I like modding my own cars. Those are kind of already maxed out. Anyways, enough jibber-jabber. Let's go ahead and play. The Forza Drivers Cup, the world's largest, most diverse, sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, only a few will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners 
and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. Speed. The defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever faster. Last season's cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for bringing record-breaking cars to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. I wonder what the air intake temperatures are on this track. Holy crap. So is this how we're starting the game in a brand new Porsche? I'm okay with that. So I played the demo. Um, I liked it, but it felt a lot different than Forza 6. So I'm pretty avid in Rivals and Time Attacks. And uh, they're very different games. Okay, so it's already set to automatic presets. Um, can I change that mid-race? Probably not. Assists. Maybe I can. Here we go. Okay, so... Um, take that off. Steering. Uh, I don't know what's best for the controller. Really don't. Traction control. Off, of course. Stability control off. Friction assist. Equalizes the friction on every surface to prevent sliding on wet tracks and grass. That's not cool. Alright, so I'm gonna do something like that. I don't even know what the drive guitar settings are. I don't think I can. Forza Thon, I don't know what that is. Okay, maybe that'll feel better. Um, but there's also a setting in the hood that kind of messes with me a little bit. Um, motion effects. It's kind of cool cinematic look, but for racing I don't like it at all. Kind of like just a regular look. Oh man, it must be on easy because I'm blown by everybody right now. But yeah, when you have the hood setting on, um, your screen shakes. You'll get like, you'll get like a wind, because you know wind has a, you can see wind apparently. There's like streams of wind on every car. It's kind of cool looking, but. I wouldn't even say realistic, it's just like a cinematic thing. That's not even a supercar that BMW I just passed. It's <laughs> but it's put up a fight. Yeah, so this is the first race, probably tutorial, um, so it's going to be easy. So we're just going to blow by this. What's that in front of me, a Maserati or Jaguar? But the, uh, the way the camera transitions is cool. Wow, this Porsche is kind of tail happy. Hey there, BMW. Take it easy. I like that they added more uh, cameras, angles. Yeah, this Porsche is weird. It, like, the tail wants to come out. The braking is good, but... You almost have to throttle and brake to keep that tail in check. <laughs> That's Aston Martin. I was wrong. I don't know why I said Maserati. I think I meant Aston Martin. But yeah, the way it transitions, there's the cockpit view and then it goes forward one. This is perfect for like sim wheels, if you have any. I used to have one, but I sold it, unfortunately. Get another one one day. They're expensive though. Good view. Yeah, that tail is weird on this Porsche. It's like you can't throw it into a turn or else the tail will just come around. I'll be honest, I never really raced Porsches on Forza games because you have to pay for them. They always have like this crazy $20 Porsche package and I'm like, why? Why would I spend 20 bucks on a freaking car? I'll probably only use like two or three of the cars in that lineup. I'm not even a big Porsche guy. I love Porsches. I mean, I like them. I wouldn't say love. But 
20 bucks just to pay, you know, to use a couple cars. It's stupid. I'm curious what the DLC is going to be like. So far, there's no DLC to buy. Although, I did buy the VIP pack. Alright, uh, sloppy. Still getting used to the game. Every Forza game feels a little different, let's be honest with each other. Um, I don't know, maybe it was a car, but when I threw it into the turns, it just the tail wanted to come around. Oh, there's a 350R. Means a huh, interesting. To win the cup, drivers must be versatile. That's because cool. Because they will not win with just one car, no matter how much speed they apply. At Magello, oh, don't make me reach that thing. Rossi earned the series points lead, and eventually the Forza Drivers Cup itself by having the it's an amazing machine though. Something as I'm just not a big truck a fan when it comes. Well, to big victory. rig. I love trucks, but not big rigs. But I never raced one in the game before, so we'll see how it goes. What was I saying though? Um, yeah, 350R. They showed it there. Now, I didn't see it in the menus to buy, so I wonder what the deal is. Maybe it's something you have to literally unlock, or maybe they give it to you, so there's no reason to buy it. Because I was going to make a video bitching about why there's no cars. Now, at the Supra, I don't think there's going to be a Supra in this game. That's crazy to think about. No Corolla, no Celica, no nothing. But uh, here we are. I hate it when you start a race and you're already passing people. Like, I want to pass people in the turns. I'm in seventh gear. I see the big exhaust pipe, and the down pipe, and the turbo. I don't know how to bring up the stats on the cars. Like when you press up on the D-pad, usually you can bring up like the horsepower and like the torque and the RPMs and the boost. Can't do that here. I'm pressing all the buttons. Maybe it's because it's tutorial, but I would love to see what kind of stuff this uh, truck is pulling it, pushing out. I wonder how many liters it is. I don't know much about it, but I love diesel motors. Just the amount of torque they can generate. It's awesome. Oh, I love this track actually. This thing actually handles a lot better than I thought it would. Then again, we're only going like 80 miles per hour. <laughs> I don't know why I'm braking. It just feels like I should. Like, it's red right here, but I don't need to brake. And it, it, the back end won't come around. Because I see the engine is sitting above the rear axle. Kind of. It's more like a mid-engine setup, but... This thing handles really good, but you're not going very fast. This thing sounds weird. It's one thing I never thought this game could get right was the diesel noise and turbo spooling with the diesels. Oh, I could just go right through this without breaking. Is there a way to adjust the uh, driver difficulty? Nothing's better in a racing game than a close race. Yeah, this thing handles really good. That suggested line is off, it seems. It's red when I can... I'm almost on the throttle when it's red. Unless it's a general thing, maybe? You know, they can't fit the whole thing in the, the camera shot. It's too big. So yeah, this is just an intro, I suppose. I'm not getting any money for this, I don't think. Yeah, this these are all races from the demo. So um, if you play the demo, this whole part is repetitive, but it's okay. Only the prepared will be able to cope with any change on the track. Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused even during a downpour. To win the Forza Drivers' Cup, drivers must adapt. Because speed and versatility are nothing when no two laps are the same. Yeah, the graphics in this game are amazing. They really are. I almost want to play this uh, race in first person. But um, it's not an easy race. It's raining. There's puddles. It's kind of hectic. Um, racing in the GTR. I love the graphics, though. Um, when you're racing, the wing will actually wiggle around a bit. 
which is very awesome. It's just attention to detail in this game is great. Um, sound? Sound is okay. I think it's hard to capture any sound of a car video or anything, video game. I'll never get that real sound. Uh, but it's not bad. I like the gear winding. You'll hear it a lot in this car. And I'm not sure what engine they're using in this car. I don't think they're using the 6. I don't know what they're using. I don't know how this uh, class works. Oh, I thought I was around you. I'm sorry. I guess my diffuser hit him. Oh, okay. I was expecting a different racetrack. Because I played the demo so much, I was expecting the... I think it was an Nürburgring. Orch Life, whatever it's called. I'm not good with names of tracks. Oh, I hit a puddle. For it being wet, this car handles. Oh, I <laughs> almost <laughs> jinxed myself. A little too hard on the throttle around these turns. The tail's coming out. Oh boy. Oh, okay, I know this track. I'm gonna stay on the throttle. Ooh. See if I can pass you this time and not hit you. There we go. So, yeah, um, if you're new to this game, in the rain, you just gotta watch for the puddles. You hit those, you're gonna hydroplane. And uh, if you're trying to turn or brake, you're not going to. You're just gonna go straight. And I'd love to switch to first person to show you how amazing the graphics can be. But I don't like first person. Is that a Bentley up front? Oh. <laughs> Rear end broke loose. I'd like to get ahead of these guys first. I get bad anxiety when I'm racing in the rain like this. Can't imagine real life. Ah, damn it. I'd love to get on the inside of this guy. Ugh. I'm too hard on the throttle. Oh, okay, I got power. I don't know if there's drafting in this game. Alright. So yeah, here's first person. Oh, it stopped raining. Kind of. I love having an all-wheel drive car for that track just because you can like kick the back out and just gun it. Listen to that. All the short shift for noise. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Still don't see an option for changing difficulty, although we only have one lap, so I feel like if you had any harder you wouldn't have enough time to pass everybody since you're starting off in, what, like, fourth or fifth place in every race? It's okay. Just a tutorial. I'm playing on the Xbox One. Uh, nothing. None of the new Xboxes. So it's chugging.